All right, so today we're going to be talking about one of my most requested topics, and that is what if the S-Class heroes were to eat monster cells? So this is a pretty intriguing question because we saw what happens when, like, base-level humans were to eat these things. I mean, the results were pretty awesome. So naturally, we go to think, like, oh, well, what would happen if the most powerful humans were to eat these things? And they are, of course, naturally the S-Class heroes. So I'm going to go as far into this topic as I really can without getting too arbitrary, that is. Because with most subjects that I talk about, it's very subjective and it's kind of difficult to definitively say, like, what would happen if each individual S-Class were to eat these things? Like, what would they look like? And of course, how powerful they would become. The most important thing that you want to hear about, and I'm going to talk about that a lot, of course. But first of all, we have to talk about what happens if you eat a monster cell in the first place. So the process simply transforms abilities already possessed by the original individual with no prospect of further growth. So the way that I see this happening is that when you eat a monster cell, it makes you as powerful as you can become. After that point, you need to go through like a Zenkai boost. Other than that, that's as powerful as you're going to become. So I kind of liken this to old Kai's potential unlock ability from Dragon Ball, like what he does to Gohan in the Buu Saga. We saw that he removed that initial cap that Gohan had, and it made him as powerful as he was supposed to be. But then Gohan was able to go further above that, obviously. But with the monster cells, they're putting a new cap on you, but you're at your ceiling with no potential to go further. So aside from the significant power boost that you receive from this, you also just straight up transform into a monster as advertised, both aesthetically and mentally. You basically just become a psychopath instantly. You lose your humanity, one of the recurring themes in the series. Now, not all psychopathy is created equal with this transformation because we saw like with Chose, he was a little more intel, not a little, but he was more intelligent, but just became like straight up unredeemably evil, like no morals once ever to speak up but then when we saw powerful guys like Koketsu he kind of somewhat still had morality to him yeah he was definitely evil but there is a clear line between how evil he was and how evil like guys like Bakuzan and Chose were so I think like most of the S-class heroes would probably be closer to Koketsu in their temperament if they were to eat the monster cells like they wouldn't just be full-blown unredeemably evil the way that Chose is or at least most of them maybe guys like tank top master and dare I even say Metal Bat would probably be closer to unredeemably evil rather than like I would say Child Emperor and it's not just so much of like an intelligence thing but maybe more so based on their inherent capacity for justice. So now let's go into like the transformation aspect of this thing. So since it builds on the inherent talents of the original subject it basically just transforms that. Although like I said it's really difficult to say like what they would become because we saw like with Chose he became a pretty pretty aesthetically appealing monster and we really wouldn't guess that he became like that as we're with like Hakumichi we saw that his hair was kind of like uh you know bear ears so he became like a bear monster that makes sense and Volton he became like an electric monster so that made sense but it's a little more ambiguous uh, further down the line especially with like the more powerful guy so what would happen if the S-class heroes were to take these well I can't go through every single one because it's already difficult to just guess what would happen but I would say like the easiest ones to guess are like Dark Shine, Watchdog Man, Metal Bat, and like Tatsumaki. So Watchdog Man, obviously his suit would like morph with him and he would become like this, uh, this monsterized, grotesque dog thing, man, human beast hybrid and then dark shine he would definitely get bigger and more muscular and then would probably look something like a abomination from marvel just taking a guess and i always assume that like tatsumaki's like dress that she has would probably come like a part of her and the little flappies <laughs> that she has it would be more like uh ursula from the little mermaid like it would become like monster tentacles or something like that and then metal bat would probably become like a cronenberg-esque just a hideous monstrosity with like a huge metal arm bat thing he would actually probably look pretty cool and then genos so he's already kind of like monstery in his form but since we're on him i want to go into the anomalies that we have in the s class and that's of course him and Drive Knight. So Drive Knight, we still don't know what he is. We don't know if he's like a cyborg or we don't know if he's like fully AI robotic. So the, you know, the jury's out on him. But for Genos, we know that he can eat food, but he only really has like his face, brain. Would the monster cells transform him? 
I mean, maybe his, like, face and brain, but other than that, it really wouldn't get the benefit of it biologically changing his entire body. It's difficult to say for him, but I would say that Genos, it probably wouldn't help him too much. It would just make him psychotic, I guess. So now let's get into how strong they would become. And also remember that this is just going to push them to what their inherent potential, I suppose, is without having to go into, like, Zenkai Boost territory. So it's also difficult to say. So we're going to have to start with Rosie, of all people. So Rosie was the first one to eat a monster cell. And I guess as a t complete human, maybe he was like low wolf or somewhere around there. Maybe even below wolf, not really sure. But after he ate the monster cell, he got huge and muscular and definitely had superhuman strength, probably more powerful than a bear, you know, given if we're going back to the Child Emperor Okami Mask scale, because he threw that guy Dave <laughs> pretty far. So maybe Rosie went from low below wolf level to like a low to mid tiger. So I guess that's like the gauge that we can go off of. Now let's, you know, expand upon that because he was easily killed by human chose just snapped up real quick and human chose we never really get a good estimate of it this is like his most defining feat so given that he's able to take out a perceived low mid tiger what monster rosie could be maybe chose is like uh b or a class hero probably like a class level somewhere around there you know probably not like high a class but Maybe, you know, it's really subjective with him, but I think A-Class is probably a good foundation for him. So after Chose ate the monster cell, he definitely went to demon territory. Now, I don't really think he was like a high demon. He was more so like a mid-demon, considering that he didn't really push Suiryu that much, and Suiryu is more so definitively high demon, like above demon territory. So if we're going from like A-Class, like high tiger, above, maybe above tiger and going to like mid demon so we're kind of staying in the same growth range that we saw with rosie but we also have to remember that the stronger the human originally is becomes stronger as a monster once they eat the cell so like chose obviously stronger than rosie so probably got more of a significant boost but then if we go to like probably the best example and that is goketsu so goketsu in his monster form is definitely a high dragon in my opinion for sure or pretty much definitively so that means that as a human maybe he was s class level because he did win the very first super fight tournament which is implied to be the biggest and best although like silver fang didn't compete in it so take that for what you will but it did have a lot of hype on it and given that he became a high dragon we just have to assume that he was at the base like close to if not on the s class level so maybe he was like as strong as like i don't know tank top master or Puri Puri prisoner or something like that so i'm assuming that the, that's the gauge and the base that we can go off of so like if tank top were to eat a cell given that he's like probably a high demon right now he would probably go to mid dragon maybe even high dragon but somewhere around there same goes for Puri Puri prisoner he's probably like the low dragon right now so he would probably go to for sure high dragon but let's go into like the real juicy ones like what if dark shine were to eat a monster cell so we already talked about like what he would look like but because he's already in my opinion definitively a high dragon i think he's obviously going to above dragon in power at that point saying that he would become god is a little too much because like that would mean that he has the potential to just become as powerful as a disaster level god without achieving a zenkai boost and I don't think that's the case. That would be way too generous for him. But we can make an argument for, let's say, Tatsumaki. Because she's already an above dragon. And we know that, in theory, Espers can benefit from monsterfication through the monster cells. Because Jagan is kind of implied to have eaten a monster cell. It's never definitively said. But it's, it's said that he's gone through, like, experiments from uh giro giro so whatever that means i mean we know that he was implanted with the eyes of espers to supplement his power but how did he become a monster in the first place was it a monster cell was it something else it doesn't matter but i'm just going to assume that this can affect her esper abilities basically increasing her power so would that send her to god level 
maybe i mean it can be argued that she could reach there or we can just get real like pedantic with it and we could say that she would maybe go from like low above dragon to high above dragon something that we haven't really touched on too much on the channel yet but maybe this could alter that factor for her and she would just bump up the scale more and more or she's just you know like a full-blown disaster it for the video uh, i just wanted to lay the foundation and the blueprints for you and maybe you could just come up with the answer for yourself for each individual hero that you basically wanted to analyze if they were to eat a monster cell so let me know what you think about this one and just give me your predictions in the comments like what if pig got ate a monster cell or something like that you know whatever or it may be drive night or genos what do you think would happen with them but if you like the video guys just please give it a like um, also, I have a Patreon. It gives you access to a weekly Q&A. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as well. Have a great day.